YouTube today I'm going to be showing you how to use the masking transition with an object. So basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to bring in the two clips you want. The first one that has the object that you are going to use. So I'm going to use this one. This is where it's going to, I'm going to mask it so that it transitions into this clip. So the first thing you want to do is just go frame by frame until right the frame right before where you can see where like it opens up after the object. So right there, you're gonna wanna drag this clip up and drag your other clip right there. So, yep, okay. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click on the project effect controls and go to opacity. And um, this is where you'll see your mask tools. You can use an ellipse mask, four point, square mask or just a draw, regular draw. For me, I'm gonna use the square because it's probably gonna be the easiest. So what you're gonna to do is then just open up the mask so you can see what you're keeping in. I'm just open all the way out right now. So what you could also choose to do is, so like let's say I bring this back here and then, so that's the other clip under it that would be coming in. You can do inverted, so like you can see what you want to mask in instead of what you want to mask out. I prefer to have it non-inverted just so I can see what I want to keep in better. So yeah, so I'm gonna start this one right here where the tree opens up. So I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna adjust this one. I'll probably grab it right here. I'm gonna adjust it so right where the tree so like right here would probably be perfect, okay? And so after I put that down, all you want to click, so you do that mask, you move it, and you have to make sure each time you click, track selected mask frame forward one frame. So then it'll move the frame, and then you'll have to adjust the mask to the, the next frame. Okay, and I'm gonna just keep doing that. Now I could probably just easily start moving it because it's like already. You can mess with it a bit. Uh, the path right here says track selected mask forward, so it'll automatically mask it for you. Um, haven't really messed around a lot with that. I'd rather do it manually just so I can get it as precise as I can. And if you want it to be really precise, you can zoom in and make sure you use the free draw tool. And it's finally gone. It ended perfectly right. See? And then once you do that, just take the mask out, next frame, and then you are done with that. Cool, so I'm gonna render it real quick. Okay, so let's see how it is. Very simple, um, awesome way to do that. Um, didn't take much time, and once you, like I said, once you get the hang of it, it'll be pretty simple. Well, there you have it, the masking transition with an object in Adobe Premiere. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up.